Legends away, so dubs on the run No turtle is safe, when he's on the hunt Witness the sack, just give it a rub Cause who knows what you'll find Toy hunting with dub What's up friends? Friday hunt video coming at you. It's Thursday morning for me. This is the closest I've had to film a video uh, for releasing in quite a while. It's been a busy week, but for, before we get any further, go further. Hashtag beat up fit. Leave a positive thing you've done for yourself and your wellness, mental, emotional, social, physical, whatever the case may be. And uh, enter to win prizes at the end of the month. Also, uh, Tuesday, the 5,000 subscriber mega giveaway kicked off on Tuesday's video. Uh, if you have not entered that, uh, go watch that video. It's, it's under 10 minutes. It's a quick video. And uh, you can see what you have to do, which is go to one of your fellow subscribers, participants, and Beat Up Fit YouTube channel. Uh, like his video, subscribe to it, leave a positive comment for him. I think you'll enjoy the video. I've seen scores, if not over 100 comments already uh, on his video. So I really appreciate that. I think that's awesome that people are participating. Um, I, I said I was going to draw that on Tuesday. I'm going to let it run through Tuesday. And we will do the 5,000 subscriber giveaways just as part of the Wednesday hunt video each week. Uh, that way I don't have to separate those videos and confuse people. Because it does look like those videos have confused people um, this week. Because um, neither of them has the normal viewership. It looks like it kind of got split. So I want to make sure everybody can see uh, the giveaway information. Uh, you know with whatever the case may be. So go back and watch the mega 5,000 subscriber, $500 giveaway announcement video and enter to win uh, one of those lots of prizes. And we'll run those for the next month or so until we give away uh, five sets of prizes. I'm excited to do that. Uh, and then of course, use the big bad toy store link. If you don't mind, click it, view it, whatever. Now, uh, it is Thursday mornings before work. I actually had a very early morning work call which has been about the size of it for me recently. Uh, a lot of very busy time at work and activity. And uh, that does make it challenging to film as many videos as I'm filming. So I'm a little bit late filming this, but you'll get it on time. Uh, that's another reason why I'm gonna combine the giveaway and the Wednesday hunt video, because I just, I don't have time to put out five videos a week. I really don't have time to put out four, but I'm trying to keep it going because I've had it going all year. Um, but how is your week going? My week has been, it's been all right. Um, Natalie and I are running in a uh, rugged maniac mutter race uh, in two days as you're watching this tomorrow, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. And um, I wouldn't say we're excited for that. Um, it is what it is. We signed up for it seven or eight months ago in that period of time. That, you know, Natalie's really never recovered from her injury, so she hasn't been able to work out very much. And um, when I got my promotion, uh, just things got a lot busier for me. So I think it's going to be a challenge, but we're excited to do it. We are excited to do it um, and, and get it done. It's something we've never done before. Uh, and we're doing it along with a bunch of our teammates from kickboxing. So that'll be fun. Uh, I think we are going to try to do something special with that in a future episode of Dub Life. We'll see. We'll see. Trying to look at some options uh, for how to capture that. But I think that'll be exciting this week coming up on Dub Life in uh, two days as you're watching this. Lots of toys being opened up. We unboxed a ton of toys. And that's basically what we did. Um, so you'll see that on Sunday's Dub Life. But for this hunt video, we're going to go to a Target. And that's probably it. As I don't have a lot of time this morning, but it's a Target I haven't been to in over a month. So maybe I'll have some stuff. This is a Target where I've uh, scored uh, like Beastman way back, right when it was just coming out, and a number of things over the years. Um, a good Target. It's about 30 minutes from my house. So we are going to go to this Target and see. Uh, we do have birthdays coming up very soon. Um, I think I've made all the purchases I need to for Natalie and Kaya's birthday. I haven't got anything for Victoria for her birthday yet. Uh, but So we're always on the lookout for that kind of stuff. Uh, plus, uh, in, oh, in shows that we're going to soon, Dragon Con coming up Labor Day, um, which is the first weekend of September. Uh, myself, Natalie, and Kaya will be there probably almost every day. We do have press passes. Thank you to the folks at Dragon Con for providing us press passes. Uh, and uh, OG Geek is coming. Uh, What's Poppin'? Seth is coming. I think Humpty's coming. I'm not sure who else. 
uh, but I know some of the guys from Florida are coming up and David I'm sure will go and uh, Damien's usually at Dragon Con so uh, we will have some fun at Dragon Con this this year that's just a few weeks away and then I think it's the next weekend September 9th through 11th I believe is right is Joe Lanta which uh, they've actually asked us to come to as well. So we appreciate the good folks at Joy Lanta inviting us out. Uh, Joe Lanta is a spinoff of Toy Lanta. Uh, so years ago, there used to be Joe Lanta and the Great Atlanta Toy Show or something like that. They merged to become Toy Lanta. Toy Lanta's in the spring. Well, they wanted to do a second show in the fall, and that will be Joe Lanta. Happened September 9th through 11th here in Atlanta. And we're going to go to that. I think that's going to be heavy G.I. Joe focused. Um, so if you're into G.I. Joe, certainly come check that out. I know I'm going. I believe Kent Pool's going. I believe Greg Cook is going. Uh, so you'll get to see some of us there. So that's kind of announcements for things we got upcoming. Certainly, if you're planning to go to any of those cons, a Dragon Con being the mega one, the huge one, some 200,000 people go to that, uh, let us know and come say hi. If you see us at any shows, come say hi and hang out. Uh, all right, that's enough with the introductions. Um, I've still been walking Rufus every single day. Uh, this we, we started running some last week. He's been doing good at that. This week I've just walked. I haven't run him uh, kind of intentionally since I've got this race coming up on Saturday. I'm trying not to be just exhausted when I get to that. I have gone to kickboxing a couple times this week. I'll probably go tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, I've done weights a couple times this week. But the, the latter half of the week I've, I've pulled off the weights and pulled off the running just so my body can be relatively fresh when I know it's already going to be a struggle running this uh, obstacle course. So that's what Dub's got going on in my life. Girl's doing good. Kaya started school. She's in theater. She's in core. She's excited about both of those. I'm excited too. And Natalie's excited. We're going to get to go see her performances and stuff. And that's exciting coming up. She's in eighth grade, almost to high school. Now then, let's go to Target. Hey, getting to the toys. So we're at Target. What are y'all hunting for? Anything right now? The prices keep going up. Gas coming down a little bit which I'm not going to say is good because it's still significantly higher than it was, but I mean, it's an improvement. <laughs> I'm a positive person. Um, you know, I don't know if there's anything that I would, I need. I know there's the new Ultimate Edition. Uh, what, Hogan and Mr. T? I've not seen that in stores. I've still not seen it. I saw Crocmaster. We saw that with Natalie at some point recently in a hunt video. Uh, and all those pallets. That may be coming up on Dub Life. Uh, Several of the Walmarts here have just mini pallets of toys just stuck in the back, but they're not doing anything with them. You can tell people just keep digging through. I haven't seen the new G.I. Joe wave. I haven't seen... I've still not seen the whole Bone Breaker wave of Marvel Legends outside of at the Top Dog Comics. I've never seen that in a retail store, only in a comic store. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think what else may be about to come out. Uh... I think there's some new Transformers from the Studio Series 86 showing up. Sludge, maybe? Is that right? The Brontosaurus? I don't think I have him. I don't know. Let's go find out. Ooh, nobody in line at the Starbucks. That is good news. Good news. It's pretty quiet in this Target this morning. Usually I'm hearing, oh, that Pokemon just got restocked. Had to have. Very quiet in here. Let's see. Trainer. That's what I got Kaya for her birthday. That's starter sets. After Radiance Evolving Skies. Trainer's Toolbox. What's that? I think she'd like the Radiant Eevee. $50. I have her that Executor. I think we have that Bolton V. We do not have that Team Valor or the Team Mystic. Yeah. I don't have any of that. Zachian. Ah, pretty sure we have that. Those sets were cool. The Goku and the Vegeta. Helping those with Kaya. My hero. Is there any wrestling? I don't think they sell wrestling cards here. Or at least I never see them. I've still never seen AEW cards in person. And I haven't seen WWE cards in a while. I know those are at Walmart now, I think. Well, I don't think I need to pick up any of this, even though it's a well-stocked Pokemon section. Here are the beep, beep, beep. There's Target employees everywhere. Like, uh, maybe they're price changing or scanning in inventory. But, like, just right over there, it was like seven. Just ring, ring. 
Dwing, everywhere you go, there's one. We do still have a few Pokemon sets that order in addition to what I have for her for her birthday. I think we got a couple of E-Treat Elite Trainer boxes and some booster pack, booster boxes. So we have opened most stuff. There are employees everywhere. There are at least eight employees in the toy section right now doing stuff. There's somebody else walk by. This is the only aisle currently that doesn't have... Those are all people. All employees. That's crazy. What is that? Oh, the Great Pyramid of Giza. We'd like to have that. It's kind of dented. I wonder if this will get a discount. I don't know. That is a set we want to have. We don't know where to put it, though. But hey, isn't that the story of our lives? Employees. I mean, there's so many. I can't get to anything. They're blocking the toy aisle. Came to the NECA Funko section since Target doesn't restock this themselves, I don't think. You hear all those ding, 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 ding? Man, I hope that's coming through on this stuff. Frog of Thunder, Ring It's like every single item in the store is being price checked. Mini on ice. Although this section is actually pretty neat and organized at the moment. Joe Perry from Aerosmith. Vince Carter. Oh, is there an Eddie? Let's see. What is that? Ones and twos, all Hopper and Eleven. Future Mai. I mean, this is actually very neatly organized. I don't know. I guess this is the Great Reset. There's Manga Spawn. I think that's one of the first times I've seen that. Kai and I saw it recently as well. It's kind of neat looking. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to get over there in the toy section. All right. See all those people in the black shirts? Every... Maybe I can make a run for it. Maybe I can make a run for it. Oh, there's people there. No. Try to get to the end cap. All those doors are still here. Darth Vader, but that's all people. Well. Uh, these are new? Oh, $27.99. Fifth of Brother. Thing fell off, huh? And those are all Jawas. Oh, my. I think that's actually the first time I've seen these. Isn't Jazzwares making these? Isn't that who it is? Uh, wow, it doesn't even have a, a brand. I think it's maybe that J. Yeah, Jazzwares. Kind of like Micro Machines, but Ty Advanced. Luke's X Wing. Obi Wan's Jedi Starfighter. TIE Fighter. I mean, these are actually kind of cool. I bet they'll be popular. They look good. $16.99. It's not, I mean, I don't know if that's good or not. But, I mean, you could have a series of these. I know there's been a number of that stuff over the years. With models and eagle moss and stuff. But, mm, kind of cool. I'm just going to be quiet. Let you hit the ding. The ring. Looks good. Poopy. Catwoman. Oh, here's. The, oh, here we go. New Marvel Legends. Nakia. Shuri. Maggot. Darwin. Sabretooth. Wolverine. Siren. Sabretooth. Is it the whole wave? No, it is not the whole wave. No Vulcan. No Havoc. Yeah, new Marvel Legends. That's good. I should scare Marvel Legends collectors. I just feel weird, like, giving you commentary because there's just people all around me. And I don't want to, like, throw the camera up on them either, but you can hear all the dings. Like, the woman right here is scanning. Look at all this Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. She is scanning every single Hot Wheel. Why? Look at all this. That's like the overflow of Pokemon. Wow. Well, they certainly have a lot of new stuff. Oh, T-Rex. Gallimimus. 
Oh, mixed items on peg, individually scan up. Maybe that's what they're having to do. Whatever that, why that's there, I don't know. Triceratops. Caratosaurus. Gallimimus. Bunch of stuff. T-Rex. Is he cool? He does look pretty cool. Yeah, and that. Beast man. Beast man. Oh, I think I eaten. That's the Jawa. That's. Have I seen that? Maybe. Galen Urso. That's all Galen Urso. And talk. A bunch of these. Was oh, it all Mix Mayfield? Like. A million of them? Wheel. Peculiar. Wrestling. Oh, there we go. Hogan and Mr. T. A bunch of Hogan and Mr. T. Look at those crazy eyes. The old school belt. And Mr. T. Was kind of neat. Yeah, Luger. Luger. And there's X Pac. I don't think I've seen that before. What's the chase of the Luger? There is a chase. Oh, is that Stacy Keebler back there? Huh. Kane. Devil's favorite demon. X Pac, Kane. Kane looks pretty good. Hello. Xbox hidden back right there. All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Every single aisle. Every single aisle. There's a person scanning. I'm so curious as to what this is. I mean, I guess it's a. I don't know, and there's also like there either most of them are in just a black shirt and jeans with no name badge, but then there are a few like Target employees with the red vest and the name tag, and I heard one of them saying, "I feel bad if we, the regular employees have to do this." So I wonder if they're like contracted, like temps or something brought in to do whatever that is. But that's crazy. I mean, I can hear all over the store. So. I hope you can hear that. I hope that's coming through on the audio because it's all over the store. I mean, there's 12 of those every five seconds. It's like the whole store is getting repressy right here again. Everywhere. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. What's happening? What's happening? I am ordering a cold brew. Since there's no one in line, I mean, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say there are a hundred extra employees in this Target right now doing whatever this is. I know a lot of you work at places like Walmart or Target or retail in general. Um, what am I seeing here? Because I don't recall ever seen this before and it seems like every single item in the store is being scanned by a handheld or at least everyone that's on one of those tags says mixed but like the lady scanned every single hot wheels all of them and but they're in plain black they're not in the target shirts they're not name tags they don't seem to know the target employees and they seem to have a leader that's moving around and like telling people what to do and like people are complaining i don't want to have to do intimates that was a conversation i heard i don't want to scan all the underwear uh so what am i seeing like what is this is this what a reset looks like i mean certainly the shelves are very stocked had all the dinosaurs had all the things i said i haven't seen yet except for gi joe had all the dinosaurs uh hammond collection had the new wwe stuff had didn't have the new AEW, but like cm punk like those are just starting to show up it had a new marvel legends Maybe that's what they all just did. I don't know.
all the froth. It's so frothy. Mm, that's actually good. Chocolate cream cold brew. A little higher in the calories, but there were a bunch of people pressing beeps. I treated myself. That's a good reason. I don't know. Uh, curious. I did actually listen to some video real quick when I was walking out to the car. And you could absolutely hear all those beeps. So uh, tell me what that is. Um, it looked like they had already reset most things. So maybe that's just updating the tags or, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to speculate. Just let me know. Cause it was curious and they were working hard. And this is in a time where, you know, everybody complains it's hard to find people to work. And there were a lot of people working. So that's curious. Interesting trip to target. Got to see a lot of new stuff and didn't buy anything. Um, honestly, I was just kind of thrown. I was a little, a little <laughs> uncertain as to what was happening. I, you know, I look, I looked at that uh, Hammond Collection T Rex for like five seconds, but then I was like, I, I need to go. Like, these people are trying to work. I'm in their way filming, like, and they they're trying to scan all this stuff. So I just left. Um, you know, and I, I you know, I may never see that Hammond Collection T Rex again and decide I want it and love it. Uh, it was cool the way the eyes moved. I uh, mm -hmm. seem to follow you, but you know, if I see it again, maybe I'll pick it up because I have been looking for that. Uh, people say it's awesome. Um, but we do have the T-Rex that came with the Jeep. That car almost hit me. That, um, that car right there. That uh, dives in that we got on clearance. Um, so I don't know that we need another T-Rex. And I used to have the big, 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 big T-Rex years ago, but I've gotten rid of that over the years. Anyway, hope you enjoyed a very interesting trip to Target. I gotta get back home. I gotta get to work and, uh, another busy day ahead. Um, there was a Rufus video yesterday. It was pretty funny. Me in the pool. Um, but Sunday's dub life for us. Saturday, we're running the race. Then Sunday, we're going to go visit my dad for his birthday. Check in on Victoria's new puppy. Who, she named her puppy Rose. So you'll get to check in with the puppy as well. And on and on we go here on the YouTube channel. Thanks for everybody watching. Hey, I don't know what I just said, but squeeze it.